Welcome to this introductory course on MATLAB. We're going to be doing a very basic introduction for somebody who really hasn't programmed before and needs help getting started. We're going to program in Jupyter Notebooks and we can use either Octave or MATLAB. Octave is a free and open source uh, program that is very similar to MATLAB. If you'd like to go to the source code, this is these are all of the Jupyter Notebooks for the course. And let me just give you a brief explanation of what we're going to be doing with this course. All right, so one of the best ways to start a programming language is to work on a simple project. So these exercises, they're designed to teach basic programming skills in MATLAB or Octave to help you design a temperature controller. This is going to be a small Arduino device. So temperature control, it's in many processes like homes, heat and heating and air conditioning, manufacturing processes, transportation, life sciences. Our bodies also regulate temperature to a specific set point. So the final project, what we're going to be working towards is to program in MATLAB or Octave this simple temperature controller that you're going to be able to actually adjust heaters to maintain a temperature. So there are 12 lessons that we're going to be going through and I have the source code here, the modules in MATLAB or Octave. Here I'm going to just select the MATLAB. It'll show an example of the instructions that we're going to have to help you get started, install everything that you need. This is for users of MATLAB. I also have the column there for Octave as well. So if you don't have MATLAB or can't install it or get a license to it, then I do recommend Octave instead. All right, so um, here's just a little bit more about the device that we're going to be using, the temperature control lab. Eventually, we're going to get to the point where we're generating graphs, doing analysis, working with numbers and feedback control, interacting with the hardware. So that's where we're going. The very first thing that you'll need is to install MATLAB, but also include the Arduino support package and the Simulink Arduino support package if you want to use Simulink instead. And there's some just basic instructions there with a video to help for along the way if you need it. Also, likewise in Octave, you can install Arduino support in Octave and uh, instructions and setup are fairly simple. The next thing that's kind of unique about this course is instead of using the integrated development environment from MATLAB or from Octave, we're going to use instead the Jupyter Notebook. Now, Jupyter originally started off as a Python integrated development environment, but then it started supporting additional languages. So, for example, if I put x equals 7, I see the command window, I see a workspace, I can create a new script, for example. Um, so, it's a very nice integrated development environment for MATLAB. Now, the issue with this is a very good programming environment, but it isn't as good for having a problem statement and then a short exercise, another problem statement, and then a short exercise. So I didn't want you going back and forth between the website. I want you to be able to program MATLAB directly within the web page. So that's where Jupyter Notebook is going to come in. Likewise, here's Octave interface. You can use this if you want to, uh, but I do recommend using the Jupyter Notebook. There are some instructions here, the video that will help you get everything installed and running. Okay, just some instructions, and then you can test the setup. Once you can run this cell right here, you know that the test was successful, and then you can go on to the remaining uh, activities. Okay, so why MATLAB and Octave? Uh, in universities, MATLAB is very common, and in industry, it's MATLAB or Python or other programming languages. But the main idea is that once you are comfortable with one programming language, 
it helps you to be able to think and structure problems in a way that helps you solve problems with data, with analysis, be able to solve real world problems because you speak this additional language, this additional language that um, knows how to harness the power of computing. And more and more you see an emphasis on automation, on taking data and extracting information from that data to make decisions. And all of these skills are very valuable for somebody who wants to have an impact in their companies or in their industries. So I hope you enjoy this course. Um, this is just the brief overview and there will be more modules, uh, 12 modules and then the final project as we go, hopefully you'll get to this point where you feel comfortable uh, doing projects like this and be able to use MATLAB or Octave and also as a springboard to other programming languages or other development.